surging in Fresno County. 279 new cases reported today, another concerning increase as health officials prepare for an influx of patients at local hospitals, many of which are already overwhelmed. Shauna Kalafi live outside the Fresno Convention Center where a field hospital has been set up ready to treat COVID-19 patients. Shauna. That's right. It isn't open yet, but the purpose of this site would be to take some of that stress off of hospitals once they're over capacity. But Fresno County's health officer says the convention center would not have all of the capabilities of a real hospital. It would be more of a place where patients go when they're getting closer to recovery. With most Fresno County hospitals operating at capacity and bracing for a new wave of patients, 250 beds in the exhibit hall at the Fresno Convention Center are ready to help fill the need as soon as officials decide to open the site. We prefer that patients are hospitalized in a, in a hospital rather than on a cot in, in the exhibit hall. It's very important to us. And so uh, we have um, asked for additional assistance on staffing from the state to assist the hospitals. But uh, we are ready to open up that exhibit hall when the time comes. Health officials say once they decide to activate the site, it could be open within 72 hours. But Fresno County's interim health officer says it won't have the same equipment or capabilities as a real hospital. It's not going to have x-ray machines. It's not going to have laboratory capacity, EKG machines. It's really just a, a convalescent staging space uh, for people to get better under some medical supervision. The health officers from Fresno and Madera counties also discussing reopening schools. Just the timing of when schools would normally open being right at the same time that numbers of, are increasing, I think is really challenging. Saying students going back to school, even with safety measures in place, is a big risk. Adding schools, which could be a source of outbreaks or would require resources in terms of outbreak investigation or even just baseline surveillance testing, really gives you a lot of pause to say, how can we do this safely? And although many schools reopening dates are only a month away, Dr. Bora is suggesting that all schools have several plans in place since the situation is changing so quickly. Reporting live in downtown Fresno, Shauna Kalafi, KC24, local news that matters.